Do you wake up every day, tweet out for something to do, and get no responses? Do you just keep getting egoed? Warning, if you experience any of the following symptoms, you may be a low tier. Symptoms include late to practice, living in the past, silent when shit hits the fan, doesn't want to watch over VODs, immature on social media, doesn't communicate in group chats, focuses on hitting clips in games, inability to absorb feedback, incapable of admitting faults, call people out for being bad and not providing proper assistance, self-claiming all-star status, losing composure from one play, inability to learn from losses, complaining about everything they possibly can, making excuses left and right, allowing friendships and business to clash, and claiming you're not trying. Call the number on screen to schedule your test today. So there's obviously a million factors that go into what makes a player good and bad, but those are really just some of the ones that I myself, Twitter, as well as a couple other people felt like they were worth mentioning. So if you want to be the best player on your team, the first thing you need to get out of your mind is this does not mean your in-game stats, how many kills you're getting, how many seconds you're in the hard point, how many domination flags you've captured. Don't just completely forget about that middle scoreboard button. This is about putting your teammates into a position to succeed, to feel comfortable and confident with what they are working with. They should be aware of everything at all times. So how do you make a depressed and insecure gamer become motivated and confident? Let me show you. By helping them accomplish their goals and providing positive reinforcement to help these people. So here's the dream teammate setup and all the things that you should really strive to hit on a checklist of becoming the best teammate you really can for your team. So I'm going to be just going off the list because obviously uh, I don't have that kind of attention span. It's going to be finding the scrims for your team, getting on 5 to maybe 10 minutes before you're supposed to actually be on, show you're passionate about this, you know, you never want to be late, trust me, take that from me. Don't be late. Uh, giving opinions and positive opinions, please, on yesterday's performance. Don't drown out the mood and tell people they're dog shit. The second that you hop into Discord, don't kill the vibes. Let people know what they did yesterday was good. Keep positively doing those things and hopefully keep the vibes rolling. This team is going to call out properly. If you want to know how to call out properly, watch this video. Very important. Make sure you check it out. Pause this right now and go watch it. Doesn't complain. Doesn't play for clips. Scoreboard. None of that shit. He gasses their teammates. Calls out the entire game. Doesn't make any excuses. Accepts criticism and grows from it. Doesn't just push it off to the side and tells you big fuck you. He absorbs that shit, man. And he thinks positively and optimistically. It's that simple, man. You do those couple things and you're gonna be a good fucking teammate. It's really all it boils down to, but I don't know what it is. Some of you need a refresher, man. I hope this is enough for you. Being a player who puts his teammates in a position to be successful is super valuable as a teammate because obviously anybody can go into the game, push out spawns, hold spawns, you know, sit in the hard point, get a couple kills, whatever they gotta do. But if you can provide some actual value to your team, and you really stand out versus the other M4s on the map, you're just gonna get a lot further. If you're really trying to make something out of this, why not try to provide as much value as you can? Now, obviously not every player can make those hero plays, but here are a couple of ways that you can provide some value outside of the game, not just being good with the sticks. Be the streamer or the YouTuber that brings eyes to your team because a lot of teams just go unnoticed. They can be super fucking good and no one knows about them because no one's broadcasting it. Until champs, there were no challenger matches being streamed at all by the CDL. So obviously the only way people were seeing these AMs playing was if they personally were streaming their own matches. So obviously if you want people to see your gameplay, why not fucking share it? What? Next, you can be the Twitter meme. Get out there, you know what I mean. You know where I'm going with this one. This one is pretty obvious. I don't really need to explain it and I don't really have the words to explain it. I'm not a memer. You can also be the news reporter. Obviously, everybody should stay up to date with everything going on in the game that they're competing in. But if you're that person that's like on the dot, you have all the notifications for all the right sources and you have the split second intel that the second something changes, you fucking know. People are gonna be like, yo, this kid is not only passionate, he's smart, but damn, he's on top of the ball, yo. Like, mmm.
or you can be the professional one that really knows the business aspects of it that can really talk the lingo to the managers and that really knows how to maneuver around the space because obviously it's not just gaming there's a business to it it's pretty obvious it is a literal business so if you really understand the aspects behind it it'll help you obviously navigate all of the interactions that you get into a lot easier with that being said i hope you guys can go out and provide some extra value to a squad it's not that hard just like i said do these simple things it's a very 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 brief list of how to be a good teammate not hard man a lot of people like i said skip over almost all of this just like i've skipped over my haircut for four and a half i think almost six months Be a good teammate. Be a good person. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day.